What's happening guys, my name is Anthony and in today's video I've got my final F122 video for you guys. This time, as you can see from the title, we are going to be doing a 50% race around Austria using an F12021 base setup and just seeing how much we can actually get up the field with Mick Schumacher and how the car just feels with an F12021 setup on F122. So as you can see, you can see me talking but my voice isn't really matching what's going on and that's because I recorded this video and then after recording, I realized that my mic was muted the whole time. I hadn't realized that before. So this time we've got a post commentary for this one. And you can see right now I'm going through the setup. This is based on the F1 2021 Austria setup that is on my spreadsheet, my setup spreadsheet, which I will post a link in the description if you guys want to use it just until the end of 2021's life cycle. And yeah, if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to smash the like button if you're new. Consider subscribing based on what you see. And I would like to thank EA and Codemasters for giving me an early copy of this build so that I can show you guys. And I'd also like to thank Next Level Racing for sponsoring this video with the Next Level Racing FTT Elite cockpit. Make sure to go to the link in the description. So go to Next Level Racing if you want a cockpit going into F122. And yeah, let's let's get into this one. So you can see we're doing the formation lap. We're doing the uh, immersive one where you actually go into your grid spot yourself. And I've done this twice before and I failed twice, but finally finally i actually managed to get it right um i do believe that someone said that you can angle the car so if you've seen max Verstappen um when he's on the grid and usually he'll have his car angled towards his rival i believe someone said you can do that i'm not entirely sure uh, i don't really know if my car was angled or if it was perfectly straight we're getting straight on into this race now talking about how the setup felt surprisingly considering that there's been a drastic change to wings on this game and there's been a few changes here and there with other parts of the setup. I'm actually kind of surprised by how it felt. Don't get me wrong. You are a lot slower as we can see. We dive down the inside of all of them. And we actually ended up getting wind damage. Which I found out early, later on in the race. From Zhou Guan Yu there. And yeah. When it comes to the actual setups itself. You're obviously going to be slower with an F1 2021 setup on this game. However. Again. I was just surprised by how it felt. I, it was drivable. Don't get me wrong. It was terrible to drive. But it was drivable, and uh, I, I believe I did one time try an F1 2020 setup or an F1 2019. This was obviously way, way before I was, uh, way before I had some sort of viewership, and I don't even think I ended up making a video on it. And Jesus Christ, it was terrible. It was the worst thing I had ever tried. I could barely get around a couple of corners. But this one, we actually was able to drive around the track pretty decently well as Alonso and Perez have a massive incident there no idea what happened with them and that's another thing I wanted to touch on real quick still loving how the AI are making mistakes and they're making quite drastic mistakes as well still see I'm still not seeing no penalties though so when it comes to my team and stuff probably better to use regular rather than strict if uh, if you just want to make things a little bit more fair so that you're not ended up with penalties when the AI is pretty much never going to get one um but couple of features that I wanted to sort of touch on and just some sort of features that I'm excited about with the game and the first one that I wanted to talk about is cross play uh, cross platform whatever you want to call it obviously you've probably heard a lot about that now how cross platform is coming to F122 and it's coming post launch so I'm pretty excited for that as a as a open lobby streamer uh, something I do quite often well not these days but something I do quite often it kind of sucks that I wasn't able to play with two thirds of my viewership just simply because, you know, cross platform wasn't a thing. So this this is a big deal for me. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be a big deal for a lot of streamers and viewers of different streamers as well. So I'm pretty excited about that. Next is the updated tracks. Now, obviously, there's a few changes to certain tracks. Obviously, there's been curb updates and stuff like that to, for example, Silverstone. I think the curbs have changed slightly, not enough to where it's a huge noticeable difference. But you've got tracks like, you know, circuit of the americas that has changed quite drastically as well but the big three obviously australia spain and abu dhabi and for those three tracks i'm very much looking forward to them abu dhabi in particular because i feel as if that was worse out of the three in my personal opinion and to see the changes that they've made especially in real life it was a pretty exciting grand prix in real life so i'm looking forward to seeing how it flows on the game and seeing if we can actually get some decent races both in career mode and potentially league races around there as well I'm um, not entirely sure if Spa will be updated. I know that there's going to be a few questions about that. Is Spa getting updated? Is Spa getting updated once we get to that track in real life? 
I don't think it will personally just because of what happened with the last game how they waited until this game to showcase those updates so maybe we might see some spa related updates in f123 or something like that but other than that i'm looking forward to testing out australia spain and more importantly abu dhabi as you can see there was a big well not a big mistake but there was a little mistake there from perez and gasly just bumping into each other and again it just shows how hard they've worked on the ai to try and just make it uh, a little bit more realistic where the, where the ai is actually making mistakes as well you can see gasly has a huge lock up there and i actually thought there was something wrong because when i saw the smoke at first i didn't realize that was a lock up i thought it was his engine blowing up so yeah that was pretty crazy um that the ai actually have massive lockups uh now very similar to what lewis did in uh in baku last year but yeah other than that sprint races i think the sprint races are going to be uh pretty good in terms of my team content and stuff like that i feel like um it's, it's a much needed refreshing sort of thing for the my team instead of just doing you know the normal races we can throw in a couple sprint races in there as well just to make you know some of the content more enjoyable and if you don't make content obviously once again it's just to spice up spice up the the my team and the career mode just for yourself you know you do some some sprint recons during the during the season and, and 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 leave it at that and finally personally the thing that i'm looking forward to the most and that i've already experienced with this preview build is wet condition driving I cannot state how much i am enjoying driving in changeable slash wet conditions around each and every circuit on this track is absolutely brilliant they've clearly done a lot of overhaul to the way the, the way the car feels in wet conditions as we all know we've all hated it recently just with how you know you just slide around it feels like you're driving on ice and you know it's, it's just unbearable but for this one it generally does feel like you're driving on you know a wet track you still have to brake early you still get a lot of wheel spin and you can still easily lose the car however when you're going through those corners you still feel a lot of grip in the cars and one thing i did notice especially in this race here is you can see it's going into interchangeable conditions it really does affect the tires um you really do feel it even more than you do in, in f1 2021 especially if you're on the harder compounded tires you can see everyone around me is on the hard compounds whereas we are on the mediums and during these conditions it really showed as i think we're about 2.8 seconds away from Gasly at this point in the race and we caught him up pretty pretty quickly just because we had the grippier tire whilst it was getting towards wet conditions and we were just able to carry just a little bit more speed into those corners and it made a huge difference so again I'm very happy with what they're doing in, in terms of that it's going to make wet weather conditions a lot more fun on the game because people really really disliked it I was one of the people who quite enjoyed it when you'd get like a full wet race or something like that or inters in league races or something everyone hated them i was actually one of the few that enjoyed it i think more people are going to enjoy it in this year's game just based on what i've experienced so far in this preview build and speaking of how the car feels in wet conditions as i said there's a lot more grip to the tires when you're actually going through the corners i have noticed that the ai the grip on the ai seems to be a little bit too op right now in wet conditions maybe they can fix that or i don't know if that was intentional or not but i feel like especially you know on traction they have a lot more grip compared to yourself when it comes to getting that power down it's just it's just pretty much ridiculous in my opinion uh, the difference between how they're able to just shoot off and how tensitive you need to be on on the throttle but uh yeah as you can see now we're going into the pits just showing off the broadcast uh pit stops once again Pr pretty much already seen that in the other videos that i've made and the other videos that other people have made on the game uh we have asked whether or not this will be changed and by this i mean the graphics you can see the graphics are pretty much still the f1 2021 graphics are we going to get the f1 22 graphics i believe we are but they've not made it super clear on that but i i do believe that we will be seeing some changes on that but don't hold me to that don't quote me on that i'm still not 100 percent sure but you can see as we come out of the pits now just the amount of traction that Yuki Sonoda gets compared to us and just how far he shoots off into the distance compared to us that's something I feel like uh needs to be fixed hopefully for the, for the game for the game's full release uh but in terms of features in the game that's pretty much what I'm looking forward to personally maybe let me know in the comment section what you guys are looking forward to when it comes to um when it comes to the features coming for F122 but back to the setup the, the setup in the middle of the corner or the F1 2021 setups in the middle of the corner on F122 that's where you sort of feel it the most 
I feel like on entry, uh, you still have quite a lot of grip, um, especially if you're using inverted wings, like how you would sometimes on F1 2021. You still have that grip. It's just once you get to the middle of the corner, that's when the back end starts to wash out. I believe for tracks where you're not having inverted wings, it'll probably feel even better, to be honest. So it might be a pretty cool idea if I actually um, did more of these videos once the full game comes out. So let me know in the comment section, do you want to see me trying more F1 2021 setups around different circuits on F1 22 and sort of just discussing how they how they feel? I feel like, like that's a pretty uh, decent idea in terms of in, in terms of videos, but I want to know what you guys think more importantly versus what I think, because a lot of the time I might think of something and it just turns out to be a bad idea. So uh, again, let, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. But coming up to the end, pretty much the end of the race now, we're on lap 34. We've somehow made up uh, 13 positions in total. I thought that the AI would make a little bit more mistakes in terms of wet weather, but... They actually made less mistakes in wet weather than they did in dry and i'm guessing that's just due to the fact that you know in wet conditions you are driving a lot slower than you would in in, in dry conditions so there's uh, less room for error i guess so that makes sense it was a little disappointing because that means i couldn't actually gain any more positions and as i mentioned previously with how the back end felt like it was just washing away um with the f1 2021 setup it was much more apparent in wet conditions versus that but again I feel like if you're on a track where you don't use inverted wings on F1 2021, it won't feel as bad as it has with Austria, um, just due to the fact that it's inverted. But we'll see We'll see what happens if I end up making another one of these videos once the full game comes out. Yeah, on lap 35 now, uh, struggling to really keep up with Yuki Sonoda. I thought that maybe we would have had the pace, but it seems as if, as for now, uh, especially with this setup, I was pretty slow in wet conditions. I sort of matching Gasly like he wasn't really gaining on us too too much um, and we weren't really pulling away but in terms of Yuki he was pretty quick in these uh in these conditions and same with Ocon it was pretty difficult to actually keep up with them and Perez had an absolute stinker of a race this time I believe he actually did get lapped by Max Verstappen his own teammate so yeah an absolute stinker of a race from him and George Russell surprisingly he had some issues at the beginning of this race and then he ended up uh, recovering from them and he ended up uh, finishing ahead of us, which was, again, just a testament to George Russell. It seems as if even in the game, he can't stop finishing inside the top five. <laughs> so it's pretty crazy. But Max just happened, ends up winning at the Austrian Grand Prix for this one. Uh, honestly, overall, I don't think F1 2021 setups are going to work that well uh, on F1 22, of course. But it was a pretty good idea. Uh, well, it's pretty interesting idea i should say to just try out and see see how it worked and honestly it felt a lot more drivable than i was expecting it to going into this video i was actually surprised that we went the whole race with very minimal mistakes i think the only mistakes that we really made that we needed to do any sort of flashbacks in is you know just absolutely sending it from from narnia locking up and and, and then basically smashing our front wing and stuff like that but other than that no real mistakes in terms of the setup itself um so i'm pretty surprised about that but yeah um i'm gonna finish the video off here i hope that you enjoyed all the f122 content that you have seen from myself and from other content creators i hope you're looking forward to this uh this year's game make sure to let me know once again in the comment section just what sort of features you guys are looking forward to once the game comes out i plan on uploading every single day with different types of content so make sure that you're subscribed to the channel if you enjoyed what you've seen so far and you want to see more once the full game comes out and i'll catch you guys with some more f122 content once the game's fully released uh, as for the small gap between this preview build and when the new game comes out i'll be finishing off a couple series co-op uh, my team and we'll do some some more interesting videos so i'll catch you guys in those videos